Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tice Klumpenhauer. I'm the University Archivist at the University of Toronto Archives. Uh, this week we're celebrating the U of T's 194th birthday and uh, we're celebrating it by kind of re-releasing a few of our um, um, older digitized video clips and to speak more about those video clips we have our special media archivist here, Marnie Gamble, who's going to tell you a little bit about what we're sharing and give you some background um, about these, these video clips uh, and the content we're showing. Um, Marnie? Hi, everyone, and happy uh, U of T birthday. Uh, the first film that we're going to see today uh, is from 1923, and it actually features the earliest uh, footage that we have on campus um, in the U of T archives collection. Uh, it's also the only film uh, that we're going to show this week that really is really not geared towards alumni. Rather, it was distributed by CP Rail throughout Europe uh, to promote immigration to Canada. So despite the title, Varsity Life, um, the film doesn't really focus that much on students. Um, you see a lot of student activity, but rather it is a film that promotes the facility, uh, uh, all the uh, uh, different uh, things that can be going on in Hart House. Uh, so it really is a film about Hart House and the facilities that are available to students in there. So the uh, construction of Hart House actually began in 1911 and was funded by the Massey family. Um, it was more or less complete by uh, 1915, uh, but it didn't open to students until 1919. And that's because it was turned over to the military during the First World War. So you actually had um, Royal Air Force uh, tents on the back campus and they used uh, some of the hard host facilities as well. Uh, it was also used as a rehab uh, hospital for injured veterans. Um, uh, even uh, the basement, for example, was used for target practice. And here in this slide, you see a painted Belgian village that was done actually by Lauren Harris uh, that they used for target practice. Um, but of course, Hart House became and remains a center of student life on campus or one of the centers of student life. And the archives has a lot of documentation, both in terms of records such as club files and extensive uh, warden records. Um, but the images uh, you can see here, we, we certainly have um, a breadth of images that show all the different activities that have happened in Hart House uh, throughout its history. So I hope you enjoy Varsity Life. Again, this contains the oldest film footage that the Archives N has, and it is uh, survived as a reprint from the 1950s. In other words, you're not looking at a 1923 uh, copy of a film, you're actually looking at a 1950s um, copy, but it, it is footage from 1923. Uh, and it's this is the full length of the film and it runs 11 minutes. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. <laughs> 